what up, what up, man? Shout out to everybody in Memphis. Big rest in peace to Young Dolph. Um, and also shout out to all the bloggers out there that's been keeping us abreast to what's going on out there. I know everybody's information not going to be 100% accurate, but we can take bits and pieces of whatever information y'all give and try to put them together on our own. But the only question mark I have um, and the only thing that makes me wonder why these other bloggers or people who have been having an opinion on the Young Dolph uh, assassination, I'm going to call it assassination because I think he was assassinated. I think it was done by higher-ups and they paid you know, some young, hungry animals that don't have nothing to lose to, to off them. But, okay, people say his bodyguard was in the car. At the gas station, did we see the bodyguard in the car? And why would, and, and if young Dolph had a bodyguard, why didn't he have his bodyguard pumping the gas for him? And, and you know, and not showing his body, not even, he shouldn't even have to expose himself. I could see, okay, maybe at the, the cookie spot, because he had to get out and order, but he could have had the bodyguard order there for him too. And he could have had the bodyguard order or, or pump the gas for him or get whatever he needs to get from the gas station. So, I don't know. To me, common sense saying, mm, okay, when you see that he's being filmed by whoever this is, some, most people say it was a fan, you don't see no bodyguard in that passenger seat. You can look in the car. You don't see nobody in there. Was he in the back seat? Mm, maybe. But then, I don't know. They're going to have to reveal the, the rest of the cameras. I, I, they're going to need to start eventually releasing surveillance footage of him walking getting out of the car because i know they got all the cameras see this is how slick they be they show us what they want us to see but when you start thinking ask yourself okay why haven't they if they've showed shown us the shooters and a pic the pictures of the shooters they've even showed us the video even if they didn't show Dolph body getting dropped so you know uh, it could prevent people from, you know, being disturbed. You couldn't show him at least getting out of the car so we could see if it was another person in the car with him. No, they don't show us that. All we see is the car parked where it's parked at. Then we see his body, his lifeless body, right where the entrance is, his arm hanging out. And then you see one picture of this alleged bodyguard. Now let's be clear on this bodyguard character, dude. Let's be real, y'all. Who is it? Who was this bodyguard? This from the the picture and the, this dude's physique. Not to even be looking at a dude. Pause. But this nigga looked like looked like he had Michael Jackson bodyguard him, dog. Like the nigga had some. He was he was so extra skinny, petite, and his nigga that nigga had the most booty tight. Skinny jeans on or something, dog, because the way he looked, just that picture, that image, look real suspect, dog. So we didn't even, I, we don't see evidence of him being in the car, even though all these different people are saying, oh yeah, the bodyguard was in the car, the bodyguard was in the car. He froze up, he froze up. But really, when you see the video of him at the gas station, you don't see nobody in, in uh, Young Dolph's car. You don't see nobody inside the store or whatever they still have yet to reveal those that footage but then the only time you see this alleged bodyguard or the supposed bodyguard is just this one picture of him i guess attempting to shoot back at the dudes and i'm not saying it's not true because old girl that had that video she claimed you know and somebody was letting off on a nigga try to okay but why is his identity a mystery why is nobody, you bloggers need to start questioning that. Who is this bodyguard? He needs to be revealed. They need to figure out who the hell this dude is. And if he was the bodyguard, because see, that's where I feel like the misinformation is, or so the, I'm real suspicious. I feel like the powers that be is using this alleged bodyguard dude as a scapegoat or as a way to distract us from seeing what really, what, what really went down. I mean, for all I know, this alleged bodyguard could have been one of the shooters, too, that was shooting Young Dolph. How do we know that? 
How we know this nigga wanna shoot at him too? I'm just saying, we can say anything. But all I know is, this bodyguard character was looking real suspect. He didn't help. So if he was, if this was the bodyguard, this nigga was very distracted. How could, what the hell could you have been doing when they were shooting young Dolph and you supposed to be bodyguarding them? You should have already been getting out of your car while their backs are turned, shooting him, and you could have shot both of them. You could have shot both of them dead. They wouldn't have had no time to turn around and try to shoot you because they so focused on making sure young Dolph is dead. So this nigga lets them shoot up Dolph, lets them get in their car, let them pull off, then all of a sudden decide he want to start dumping on the car, allegedly. Well, all I know is this old, this nigga had a, a, a knockoff Michael Jackson bodyguard number or something, nigga, because that nigga whole image looked weird, my nigga. We had all black on, you got dreads, and you got these super skinny legs or, or these skinny jeans on. What the fuck was you doing, dog? It could have been a female for all I know. It almost looked like a female with a gun in her hand gun in her hand. But y'all say this is a guy. This this guy, this person that was in black was a black dude with dreads. But from the waist down, I don't know what to make of what the hell I'm looking at. Like nigga, it could have been an alien. Did he have an alien bodyguard in him, nigga? Because the niggas, he don't look like a regular. That physique is not a regular human physique to me. I mean, he got two arms and two legs, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Look at that picture again. That shit's suspect, bro. Very suspect. So all I'm saying is, y'all need to dig a little more deeper on this bodyguard situation and ask yourself, what was he doing while Young Dolph was being gunned down? What took him so long to get out the car? And why was he so shook up? If I was the bodyguard, I don't even have to be a bodyguard. My homie getting gunned down. I'm already in the car and I see two niggas up on him. I'm getting out the car and dumping on these niggas. They ain't gonna be, they're not, they weren't paying attention to nobody else but him. So the bodyguard could have easily gunned down both of them. It was two of them, but he could have gunned down both of them because their backs were turned. Y'all ain't think about that shit, huh? Nobody ain't thought about that. Come on, man. Y'all got to start using your brain. Something is not right about this situation. So you big bloggers, all it takes for one big blogger with a big platform, I, you don't need to acknowledge me. But y'all need to highlight. Y'all need to address this and bring this to light because this shit don't make sense to me. This shit don't make sense to me that this alleged bodyguard, if he if he had a bodyguard, where the hell was he at? Why wasn't he shown? Why we couldn't see him in the car at the gas station? And why... Was he so distracted or why was he so held back that he couldn't do anything until these alleged shooters got in their car and drove off? Nigga, that shit was a hit, dog. And this alleged bodyguard dude, he must have already knew what was going to go down. And he just played the role like as if he was, I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't, For all I know, I don't know if the man was shooting back at them or not. I can only go off what he said, she said shit. And what some of you bloggers say, but you bloggers need to dig more deep in this uh, bodyguard character because he's very suspect, very very suspect, and that don't even make sense for you to be a bodyguard and you don't do nothing. These niggas are gunning down the person you're supposed to be protecting that you on payroll to protect. How in the hell do you not get? The, uh, how do you not get one up on them? I would have easily gunned both of them down. Quick. And he had a Draco or whatever he had. Nigga, are you serious? Y'all niggas is crazy.